capturing information from across the internet into your LogSeq notebook and using it to discover new ideas to write about that you wouldn't have naturally thought about unless you had followed this workflow. So this is my workflow on how I do this and I wanted to share it with other people. So for me, I have like two goals of maintaining my graph in LogSeq is the main one is I want to figure find new things, right? So I want to um, be able to write down information and then connect that information to other information and then have new thoughts. And the second more basic thing is I just need to remember th stuff, right? So important numbers or pieces of information and just write it down so that we have it available. This talk covers that first bullet. So we're going to be going over the journey of how I, you know, captured this concept uh, about glass and plastic balls in my notes and, and what ideas it led to. Um, so I was talking to a coworker and they were mentioning there's this idea that in your life there are glass and plastic balls and you're juggling them and you have to know which ones are glass and which ones are plastic because the glass ones that fall on the ground they shatter and the plastic ones that, that fall on the ground, they bounce. So it's okay to drop a plastic ball, but it's not okay to drop a glass one. But that was an interesting idea. And so I wanted to make sure that I you know, had that in my notes. So um, I ultimately did a little research uh, and found, it, uh, I wanted to find people talking about this concept online, right? So someone other than this random coworker, this was a, a Twitter thread um, where someone was like at a writer con conference and they were talking to Nora Roberts, and Nora Roberts thought about these glass and plastic balls as a way of balancing kids and work. Um, and, you know, yeah. So I saved it, right? I saved that thread. This is me saving the thread on, in, in September, I guess, uh, to my uh, Read, Readwise account, right? And then Readwise is, is, is a system that will sync the thing tweets that I've saved from Twitter into my log uh, into my log seek, right? So now I have it kind of in a raw form. Each bullet is a is a tweet uh, in the thread, right? So the next step is I have to kind of process this. This isn't, this isn't particularly valuable um, in its current form. So processing for me kind of falls into three categories, right? So the first is to uh, to classify it, right? So I'm going to write some notes about something what is the concept that I'm writing about, right? So the more broad of a concept I can find, the better I can link it to my other notes, right? So I originally had written my concept in this bullet here um, as um, balancing work and kids, right? So that's, that's kind of too specific. So as I, as I wrote my notes and thought about it, I ultimately realized I think that what people talk about when they talk about this idea of balancing work and kids is work-life balance, right? I think that there are probably more people talking about that than work, work and kids, right? Second piece is the same information that's available in the tweets, I, I rewrite it in, in, in my own words, sometimes copying and pasting, sometimes um, some tweaks, um, capturing the pieces of important information that I want to make sure I capture in my notes. And the last one is I reformat it to be in like an outliner form, right? So you know, uh, information that is connected, I want to make sure to nest rather than it being you know, siblings. So that way, um, you know, I can remember to say, remember that like, you know, this bullet is, is actually related to these two other bullets. And then the next one here, I'm going to like a separate thought, right? So it's important for LogC to cap capture information that way. But I would actually say of these three things that I do with my notes, the, probably the most important one is this classification step where I I put a top level bullet. The rest of them I can kind of iterate on later. Um, but if I get that top one wrong, then it sort of limits the impact of a note, right? So once I've created this work-life balance concept, right? I, this is new. I've never written about work-life balance. I, I want to um, kind of go deeper in that area, right? So now I've gotten past plastic and glass balls. And I'm thinking about a, a, a bigger umbrella of topics. I'm really struggling with like, what is work-life balance? Is it a culture? Is it like a personal value? Like, is it a, like, what is it? Like, I, I'm struggling to even like think about how it connected to my other notes. That's when I would consult 
GPT-3, um, there's th that plugin that allows me to ask questions to this AI bot, what is work-life balance? And this is the writing that it came back with here, like verbatim, I didn't uh, edit this. The only thing I did to it was like cut it up to be a little bit more in a format uh, that I like to read stuff in, again, the, the outliner form. Um, so like, uh, so then th this is nested bullets, right? Three bullets here are things that work-life balance could um, mean to certain people. What, what aspects of their life are they prioritizing, right? Uh, so these three bullets are related, so thus, thus they're nested. But you can see that it, it kind of gave me a good baseline. Like, what, what can I take about this, right? So the one, there's not a single definition of work-life balance, hence me struggling with it. Um, work-life balance kind of comes to an e idea of an equilibrium, of a balancing of... Uh, priorities between work and aspects of your life. And then here's some aspects of your life that you might want to balance, right? So, okay, cool. I've kind of oriented myself into this like concept. Now I want to attempt to manually link it to some of my existing ideas in my, in my notebook, right? So um, I already have a, a, a page on burnout, right? And thinking about what that said, I would imagine if you got your work-life balance wrong, where you, were, you, you felt like a, a lack of equilibrium, it could lead to burnout, right? So I, I captured that idea. And then the second one is like, I think I remember seeing that some companies, they say work-life balance is a value that they have. So I, I, th I have a page on different values companies have, right? Like co communication, collaboration, work-life balance could be a value, right? So I'm beginning to weave this concept into my web, right? Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna we're gonna look through our notes for previous times I or someone else has talked about work-life balance, but when I went to do that, I immediately found I had zero links, and that seemed unlikely because I'm I'm VP of engineering, I take a lot of notes on management, um, and so the question came to my mind: perhaps they're talking about it in a slightly different wording, right? So what I noticed was when GPT three kicked it back out, it actually talked about it as work-life balance. And LogSeq's um, character matching is like very specific. So things like S's or not S's or dashes, like they can throw off like the unlinked references. So you have to make sure to look for aliases to make sure that you can correctly connect it, uh, this new idea to your notes. So in this case, I added work-life balance and I found five different places around punks my notes that were uh, talking about work-life balance. And I then go down through each one of them and I decide, hey, is this important enough for me to link directly to work-life balance note, this new concept? And you can see in this case, Laura Hogan wrote an article about setting expectations as a manager. And she feels it's really important as a manager to demonstrate a healthy work-life balance for your team. And here are some ways that I could demonstrate that, right? So I felt like that was relevant to my note-taking. I'm not gonna go through every single one of the ones that I found that connected, but I, um, uh, this was just one example, right? Okay, so now that I've made some basic connections, five unlinked notes I connected, and then two manual ones, I can then use the graph analysis plugin um, that I wrote and using the uh, Adamic Adar setting, which is the thing that makes an, uh, um, an estimate of what concepts are related based on the, the shape of your graph to then create, come up with new ideas. And this is the most important part of my process, right? So I've selected work-life balance and here's the notes it's selected, right? And the way that I create new ideas that I've never thought of before is I say, okay, this algorithm, Adama Kadar believes quitting a job uh, is related to work-life balance. Now, I didn't connect that. How could quitting a job be related to work-life balance? Like, in what ways? And I ask myself that question and I think about it, right? And I might, you know, come to the conclusion that, like, uh, working at a place, your work-life, your, your relationship with work uh, is informed by where you work, right? So some cultures have uh, the positive work-life balance, some cultures have negative, and, and your own personal sense of it can be influenced by that, right? So if I felt like I had gotten out of my own alignment of my personal values of work-life balance, then I could quit a job, right? So that's how quitting might relate, and I could do research on that, 
or I could write you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but that's like one direction. And so based on this shape of the, the graph of the different bullets that highlighted, like here are the things that I identify that uh, I might want to like do more research on or write on in the future. Um, again, asking that question, how does work-life balance relate to X, X being the highlighted node, right? So uh, attrition in your job or quitting, again, I'm a manager, um, so these things are important. How can meetings uh, influence work-life balance, right? So an example of that would be uh, Laura Hogan already called out in that previously that like meetings that were like outside of work hours, right, can directly impact someone's ability to have a work-life balance. But again, just that general concept, how can meetings relate? Um, setting expectations of a manager, how can my expectations influence someone's work-life balance, um, timelines and roadmaps. One of the articles that hi highlighted was talking about problems that are, that are coming in, in roadmap planning. Uh, so I, you know, I want to think about how work-life balance relates to roadmaps. So an example might be, I might set a really strict timeline causing everyone's work-life balance to spin out. Again, I'm just like spitballing there. And then again, how does toxic behavior in an office, because the toxic note uh, got highlighted, relate to people's own work-life balance. Like how can someone be toxic in that way? Um, yeah, th so those are the ideas that I had never thought about previously, um, at least consciously sat and thought about them, that making those connections in the graph, that random thought that, you know, someone mentioned to me about glass plastic balls, call it, created a new concept for work-life balance, making those connections, using that algorithm, it all came together for me to create new ideas for my writing. Um, and here are the references to the plugins that I mentioned. The three that uh, you know I called out were the GPT-3 plugin that I sometimes consult if I'm, I'm looking for inspiration on uh, a topic. Um, Readwise, which I use for my research purposes to, to suck content uh, off of Twitter and blogs and everything into my notes for my own purposes. And then that graph analysis plugin that surfaces um, new ideas from its connections. I hope this helps.